Solve and graph the solution set. Here we're given an absolute value inequality. The first step is to isolate the absolute value. And we can do that here by subtracting 3 on both sides. That'll leave us with the absolute value of 4x minus 5 is less than 8 minus 3, which is 5. So here we have an absolute value less than a number. And we can write that as a compound inequality. Negative 5 is less than the argument here, 4x minus 5, which is less than 5. As a compound inequality, we can solve. First step here would be to add 5 to all parts. Adding 5, that'll leave us with 0 is less than 4x, which is less than 10. And then dividing by 4, we have our final answer here. 0 is less than x, which is less than 5 halves. And we can graph these solutions on a number line. And for both the lower and upper bound, we'll use an open dot because of the strict inequalities. So here we have an open dot at 0 and an open dot at 2 and a half. Let's label that. 5 halves is really just 2 and a half. And we'll shade all the numbers that are greater than 0 and at the same time less than 2 and a half. In other words, all the values between 0 and 2 and a half. And so all our solutions to the original inequality lie in this interval. Using interval notation, we can write from 0 to 5 halves. And that's our solution set.